I lost my account. I lost. I was playing on iOS, and anybody who's followed what's gone on for um, iOS, iPads, iPhones, knows that a lot of people lost their accounts uh, a few months back, and I was one of those. And I had to go through the tutorial again to unlock things. I could not believe how much I lost. I lost all the time. And a uh, lock hammer shut up about elementals. That's not a thing. <laughs> that is not a thing. I refuse to believe in it. Gruel Elementals, as in a deck basically built around Omnath, the only card that triggers off a tribal elemental theme, and he wants to call it Elementals. You can call this deck Elementals. It has, it has Omnath in it. It has Gaia's Revenge in it. If that makes you feel better. Somebody's using my avatar. I shall have to beat it out of them and take it back. No, I'm not trying your list. <laughs> Just no. I don't really want to play that deck. Lockhammer wants me to play the Gruel Elementals deck. No, thank you. I'll pass. Let's see what we've got here. It's another good hand. I've been really impressed with the hands so far. This is our fifth game, and I haven't really had anything that I would call too sketchy. This, And we're on the play again. That's not even fair. So... I think we've been on the play every game. Maybe there was one that we weren't. If that keeps up. This deck is going to look shiny at the end of this video. So let's see if we're up against some kind of ally shenanigans, some kind of token shenanigans, or some Naya Ramp shenanigans. You just can't tell anymore by whatever land the opponent plays on turn one. Well, whatever it is, it's Boros, but when you lead with Tapland, Tapland, that is uh, making this deck's heart go pitter-patter. Now, right now, we want to maximize, and I mean maximize our chances of hitting our turn four uh, Acid Moss, our turn five Renewal. So we're going to throw this out there and try to hit a land, and if we don't, say la vie. Also, our only one drop is green, so leaving a green up is great. And it's highlight. Oh yeah, that's that's a hit, ladies and gentlemen. This deck is it's uh it's performing admirably today. Draws haven't been awkward. Everything's been going great. Even a boiling earth for a in a three for one can't stop it. And I should have cracked that because I was talking. So there's our first big mistake of the day. I should have cracked evolving wilds for another damage. I was just too excited. I was so excited there was an evolving wilds there, and I missed it. And we're definitely going to fetch here, so... Oh, well. If this comes down to one life at any point, I blew it. It's on me, not the deck. Now, that is a problem, because we can't attack through it. But we can double buff Slide Runner and get through it. But Abbott, uh, Abbott will have to stay home, which is too bad. I really want to resolve this now. It's such a huge tempo play from this spot. It isn't as good next turn because he might play something that can block down Grove Lump Rumbler or get an aura on his uh, dude. So this is the play this turn. And concession. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I hear you. I don't like getting Acid Moss either. The card is so good, though, that not running it is usually a mistake. It's usually flat out a mistake, and maybe you don't want to be the kind of person who plays that card, but if you're interested in playing the best magic you can, and you're interested in forcing the opponent to play the best magic that they can, you need to run the best cards. And in this deck, and in the ramp deck, one of those is Acid Moss. It is not the best card in every card or every situation, but it is right now. Wow, we are about to get hit in the face. I can't believe he conceded. Oh my goodness. Oh, watch this. This is going to hurt. It looks like it might still be a GG uh, Slanish who is uh, giving me a, a tongue sticking out thing. Uh, <laughs> holy cow. So 
We can make Call of the Moon fall off very easily. If he has another one, we'll be stuck in chump block mode, which will be sad. We can also just kill it. And if we just kill it, he has no board, and I think we're lethal next turn. One, two, three. If we kill it, we get in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Puts him at seven. Yeah, it's he'll have to put something else on the board or it's lethal next turn. So we're just going to kill it. And we'll have Rogue's Passage, too, to push damage through. It's, it's a lot of good stuff. It's a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> so we certainly took what is hopefully his best shot. I mean, my goodness. Uh, 12 damage from a double-striked Call of the Full Moon. Is that whatever this land is? Sandstone Bridge. That was a big punch in the face, but we took it. We're still up. We're still up. Can he put us down for the count? Kithian. Perilous Mirror. Okay. He's got board. He's got board. So we could make a 5-4 out of Slide Runner with Nissa's Renewal. That would get through at least 3 damage, and that would make this a 3-2. But if we attack, what he would do is take the 5 damage, go to 2, probably block Abbott with Perilous Mirror. Maybe he'd block like this and this. Hmm. But then we have Revenge next turn. The other option is to get these both out and go for a massive landfall attack turn the following turn. But I think keeping his board down is worth it. I actually think the play is still uh, Nissa's Renewal and Swing. He can trade for my whole board, but then we follow up with Revenge and he'll still take uh, a lot of damage. And then there's the block. Pretty much what we said would happen. He's still a long ways off of getting Kithian to flip or do anything cool. And um, yeah, it should be mentioned this is the AI too. Predicting what the AI is gonna do is not uh, rocket science. And now we also have the Rogue's Passage Slide Runner play for lethal. He left up a colorless land. There's nothing that can be done. That I, nothing in this game at this time that can be done. So I think that's six zero. No, that's five zero. Still, considering I built this completely on the fly, and these are the first games I've ever played with it for you guys on camera. I can't think of a lot I want to change yet, and it's running really good. We haven't exactly played the cream of the crop, but we haven't played total goldfish. We haven't just smashed the guppies. Let's see what Gemini's got. Gemini hasn't replied to my message. Hopefully, maybe he'll come on and kick this deck around soon. Or maybe he's in, uh, maybe he's watching right now. Let me check if he's streaming. Nope, Gemini's not streaming. So yeah, maybe he'll get in here and battle me. Yeah, I'd like you to apply uh, the gauntlet, Gemini, after this game. It looks like I just found an opponent. So... Yeah, if you can hear me, come on in and throw a variety of decks at it. I think, yeah, we're 5-0. This will be a sixth game, so you can throw four decks at it and see how it does. <laughs> Do you put Boiling Earth in your red deck? Because we already beat a deck that threw Boiling Earth at us, and that was a blow. Like, I thought that game was just over the second it hit. It killed. It was a three-for-one, and it pumped his Majoring Bully. I just thought that game was over. <laughs> I 
I mean, this is another hand that I'm really excited about. That That's six in a row. That is pretty uncommon. And you can play around Moss either by not playing your dual lands or by playing so many of them that they can't deal. And I think I'm just going to get them out there. Because I already have two. Alright, so our tempo could just get eaten up if he has Fiery Impulse, which would be really good for him, but wow. If he doesn't have a way to kill this, we're going to go Gnarlid, Pilgrimage, Pilgrimage, Gaia's Revenge. So let's see what he's got up his sleeve. See how he deals with a very straightforward approach. Not a lot of trickery, Loki. We're just coming for that life total. Thopters? Looks Thopter-esque. We can get over that mirror this turn. Which is kind of amazing in its own uh, way. Yeah, we're... Let's see. With Thopters, you just can't let them have a board, so you have to get yours bigger faster. So what we're going to do is this turn, we're going to do this. The next turn, we're going to do this, and this, and then we're going to do that. And we get to attack with a 4-4 Gnarlid the whole time. So we're going to put the pressure on. If he takes two hits from the Gnarlid, then uh, he definitely won't be able to take much from Revenge. So hopefully we have a few good hands left when Gemini gets on here to battle because Gemini's not going to play any slouchy decks. He's going to play the real deals. Not that this is a slouchy deck. We just haven't seen much so far. I mean, right now it looks Thopters. Yeah, there's a Twin Bolt. That's good for him. Get that pressure off. That's important. That Gnarlid was not going to slow down anytime soon. Next, uh, he really needs a Whirler Rogue or a Pia Kirin, something to start, you know, sw swamping up the board next turn. Okay. Well, now we have a backup plan if uh, he does swamp up the board, which is just, it's just awesome. I can't, I can't say enough about the draws so far. It, it's drawing better than it feels like it should. But if he kills the slide runner, we'll be left without an ignition target for the foreseeable future. And then our draw won't be as pretty. Okay, that's going to do it. But that also means he's going to take eight. Because I bet he attacks with both. I bet the revit. And if he doesn't, we know he's sniping. <laughs> well, we know we got a sniper. Somebody in a corner with an op. <laughs> This is a little late and redundant, but hopefully this will be enough to get the job done. What? I got accelerated production? Hey, how about that? Isn't that one of those uh, achievements that's really hard to get? Eh, I don't know. Oh, Swedish Bob, I, I, mean, I, I thought I've replied to your comments. Maybe I don't know exactly what you're asking. Maybe I'm not understanding what you're asking for. But, you know, I'm going to do, I'm pretty much going to be doing, talking about this video. So, uh, hope that's all right with everyone involved. Okay. So he did go wide, as we said he needed to. So he's in a good spot, and we need to draw a creature. If we draw just about any creature in our deck things are good. That is not one of them. Alright. If we hold revenge back, it holds back one, two, three creatures. If we attack with it, it eats one. So what is better? <laughs> 